Hello there everyone, welcome to another video here on the channel. Today we have another tactic tester for you. Now the tactic tester that I've done so far is spotlighting your tactics on the FM Scout website. So please keep them coming in uh, because as long as there is more tactics, then these episodes will continue. And today we have a nice one. Now recently... I've been spotlighting tactics which have very strange positions. Uh, the likes of the Libero, the Ram Deuter, uh, and now we have another one. A Regista. Yes, so the Regista. Famously uh, perfected by the one and only Andrea Perlo, one of my all-time favourite midfielders, and I think probably one of yours. There's not many people who dislike Andrea Perlo because why would you? The guy was a genius. But he did pretty much perfect, maybe even invent the Regista role. Uh, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments about that. Uh, but this tactic has the Regista role in it and the description was that it needs to be your best player. Your best player needs to be the Regista. So I've sort of found three teams who I think might fit that role and we're going to see exactly how they do. So this tactic was uploaded by BJT and it is even named the 41212 Regista Pirlo. So obviously it is based around Pirlo uh, and based on Ancelotti's Milan in fact. This is what the guy has put forward. So I'm guessing that is probably the later part of the 2000s when they had the likes of Pirlo and Kaka and that very extraordinary side with Ibra maybe up top. Um, but we don't obviously have those sides. What sides have I picked? So the first team I have chosen is Derby County and they are sat in the Skybet Championship, the second division of England. And I thought it'd be quite fun because they actually have Wayne Rooney in the side and he actually does play a Regista role in this year's game. Uh, he obviously doesn't have the best physicals, which could be a problem, but we're going to see whether that actually makes such a big deal uh, because technically and mentally, this guy is amazing in the Regista role. But this is the tactic itself. It is, of course, a narrow diamond, an attacking forward and a deep line forward, an advanced playmaker, a Carrillo. Is that how you say it? Carrillero? Carrillero, of course it is, Luke. A ball winning midfield midfielder next to him and in front of the Regista. Uh, we have two wing backs, one wing back, one complete wing back. Don't know why it's different. We have one centre defender on cover and a ball playing defender as a stopper and a sweeper keeper on defence. This is an attacking mentality. In possession, we have a wide attacking width, which is quite surprising because we obviously have a narrow formation. Uh, we are passing it into space, overlapping fullbacks, focus play through the middle, playing out of defence, Slightly shorter, slower tempo. We are whipping those crosses in, of course, from the fullbacks, working the ball into the box and being more expressive. In transition, this isn't a Gagan press. Exactly. Uh, it's actually a control possession, so we're going to look more into that. And it's going to be weird to see whether this actually has any effect on the tactic. I don't think we've only... I think we've only tested one, one tactic, which wasn't a Gagan press. So I'm actually quite excited to see how this one does. We're distributing the ball to the playmaker, i.e. the Regista, uh, and we're rolling the ball out as well. So the final thing is using the offside trap, high line of engagement, high defensive line, tight marking, more urgent intensity, preventing the short goalkeeper kick, and getting stuck in. So Derby County then, their season preview looks like this. We're predicted to finish 14th in the league, quite far down. So Derby County are actually predicted to finish in 14th place, 22 to 1 that, we'll, that they will go up. And remember, the championship is probably the hardest division to possibly get out of in real life and in game. So that's quite fun. What are the other two teams though? Now, we also have Sassuolo, and they have a couple of players who can play the role. Unfortunately, the main man who can play it, Senesi, is out on loan. So we won't be able to use him, but the man that we can use is Locatelli. And this man, I really like the look of. I've just actually bought him for my World Rotterdamination save. Make sure you're coming across and watching that one. He's very good indeed. I like this man. Uh, he was a wonder kid on the game a couple of years ago. So they're going to have a few struggles, I think. There's a few midfielders that they have loaned out. This is, of course, just pressing uh, quick pick on pick without restriction, best 11. That's basically what I do. Um, uh, but as you can see, they have a few good players who are with them. It'll be intriguing to see how they do in the Serie A. Their season preview, I think, season sat around mid-table. Uh, 12. So very similar to Derby County, actually, quite far down. So we have two teams today who are not in the top half of the league. So it's going to be exciting if they do manage to get there. 
The final team I have brought for you is Valencia. Now, this team has Parejo in that Regista role. Someone who I think really actually suits it. Uh, if we have a look, Regista there, the highlighted attributes that he has all really good. I think he's a very uh, experienced centre midfielder. Maybe his younger years are away from him now, so this role might actually suit him. Uh, be interesting to see how he affects the game, Danny Parejo. But again, Valencia, they have a side which I think really suit this formation and this tactic. We don't have any players in the suggested best 11 who are out on loan, so that's also really good. What are they predicted to finish in the league? Probably top six, I'd imagine. Fourth, so they're actually predicted to finish in the top four. That's quite good. Sevilla and Athletic Club and probably Sociedad are all going to be in and around that position as well as the top three battle out at the top for the title. So then without further ado, we're going to skip forward one season and see exactly how they get on. If you like the look of this formation or you like the results that we have, the link for it is down at the top of the description to download it. It will take you straight to the FM Scout website where you can download it from there. But I'm intrigued. How do they get on? So we're going to start off with Sassuolo, and as you can see, they finished in ninth place. So that is quite successful. A few a few places above where they were expected to finish. We have Domenico Berardi on 18 goals there, and out again 34. Absolutely outstanding stuff. He also got a few player of the matches, so that's good. Uh, let's have a look at stats then. Do we have high possession? The best average possession, 51%. So it's not necessarily high possession. Most fouls made though. Um, so that's quite a lot. Probably have the most yellow cards too. We have the most red cards with seven. That's a lot. Squad-wise, Berardi scored the most goals quite by quite a lot. Caputo got nine. Uh, so only one player with double uh, figures in the goals tally. Take off the two long players there. And the highest assist was a substitute. A substitute right back who in 31 appearances... Well, actually, he might have played most games because he was the backup for this man. So he probably played most games. Seven assists, seven goals from right back. Competitions-wise, they only played in one other competition and they were knocked out by Atalanta in the quarterfinal of the Cup. Now, the player who played in the Regista role was actually this man. So we had two aging players because this guy's also 35 years old. So he has good mental attributes. Uh, technical attributes aren't too bad, but the physical kind of let him down. If we have a look at how he's been doing, uh, there he is playing the Regista role pretty much all season. Uh, and he didn't do too bad. A seven rating, one assist, three player of the matches. Uh, not too bad, I guess. One thing I am interested to see is where the goals come from. So as we can see, the goals were scored 37 times in or around the penalty spot area, 13 times in the six-yard box, uh, and a couple from outside the box. Assist-wise, a lot from crosses, 16 on one side, 10 on the other. We had 16 from outside of the box as well, so that's not too bad. Right then, Derby County, how did they do? They're not in the playoffs. Uh, they finished in 7th place. That's quite good, actually. All things considered. 75 points. Quite a successful season. Uh, stats, though. How do they do in the stats? So, we don't. We have the most fouls made again. So, this high, high amount of fouls. They didn't have the best possession. 7th in the possession. 51% again. Goals. Are they up there? 5 goals. They also had a lot of red cards. So maybe if this one didn't have get stuck in, we would see a lot less in those statistics. But it's whether you consider them to be a good thing because all the times that we are seeing the most fouls made, you don't know in what concept, whether it's breaking up play for the better of the game or not. And whether these red cards, uh, how many tackles per red card is quite an interesting factor that we don't necessarily see all we see is wow they got seven red cards or red or five red cards that's bad uh, might be quite good you don't know not that red cards are good that the fact that using the get stuck in role is good you know what i mean so in other cup competitions then they were they lost in the fifth round to aston villa and the first round to doncaster rovers but they're in the league below of course so they're probably won by premier league teams uh they probably didn't focus on that either they tried to go for the championship and they did they had quite a good crack at it, i think uh, a couple of players here and there they might have done a lot better Wayne Rooney, though, in the Regista role. And as I can see already, I mean, we'll go for and just see form-wise. He did play in the Regista role every single game. Absolutely fantastic. 45 appearances out of 46. Phenomenal stuff. Three goals, 12 assists. Eight player of the matches. A 7.41 rating. 
Wayne Rooney playing in a CDM role. You love to see that. That is phenomenal stuff. Well done, Wazza. Goals for Derby then. 41 of the goals came in the penalty spot, 15 in the six-yard box. Assist-wise, we had a few out on the wing, but the most goals came from inside the box. So the two strikers actually must have done really well to actually assist each other. So let's have a look at the squad then and see whether they did get a lot of assists. Uh, we don't see any of the strikers, in fact. Uh, there they are, Jack Marriott and Waghorn, both on five assists, so hopefully that's assisting each other there, or oncoming midfielders, the attacking midfielders coming into the box. But Wayne Rooney does have the most assists in the team, and the only player to reach double figures in assists. But both strikers there, double figures in goals. Good season for Martin Waghorn and Jack Marriott. Valencia, though, they had the best season out of the lot. They finished in third place, 74 points, a point above Atletico Madrid, potentially the third best team in La Liga. So they've done exceptionally well. Profile-wise, Rodrigo, 22 goals, the joint top scorer of the league. Floren Florenzi with the second highest average rating, only behind Leo Messi. So if, if, I'm, if I'm Florenzi, I'm counting that as a win. Uh, to become second to Leo Messi, that's a win in my eyes. Uh, player of the match, Rodrigo, also became second to Leo Messi with eight. So two winners, uh, if we consider that a victory. And in a league dominated by Barcelona, uh, percentage-wise of the possession, 51%. They didn't have the most fouls made. However, they were third, so uh, still quite high. And they weren't actually up there for red cards, so that's a bonus. Other competitions, though. They won this cup competition. What's this? Is this the Copa del Rey? It is the Copa del Rey. Valencia, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back winners. Wow. That is absolutely outstanding. Congratulations to Valencia. That, that's a phenomenal season. What a season that is. They were knocked down the first round as well by Inter Milan. That's nothing to be snuffed at. They got through the group stage of the Champions League. Who was in their... Oh, I'm curious now. Who was in their Champions, Champions League group? Uh, let's go to all groups. They were in a group with Bayern Munich and Napoli. So that is quite tough. Slavia Prague, unfortunate there. Uh, to, to come up against those three teams. So squad-wise, the goals came from Madrigal, 32. 19 for Maxi Gomez, uh, 13 for D Danny Parejo. Danny Parejo, what a season he had. Eight goals, eight assists in the league, 13 assists, 13 goals in total from the Regista role. Four player of the matches, a 7.46 rating. So the fact that all three Registas are in the 30s, could have a, a sort of dampener on how well that position does play. However, Danny Parejo, I think, shows that if you do have potentially your best player in that role, you can do absolute bits with him. And I think Danny Parejo has, a fun, has had a fantastic season. And that really does show. And maybe that's down to the Regista role. Let me know down in the comments have you, if you ever use a Regista, what you think of it. Final thing to check then, where did the goals come from? 51 goals from the penalty spot, 34 uh, from the six-yard box. Let's go to assists, and a lot more spread out. 19 goals was assisted from this area outside the box. 22 from one wing, 12 from the other, 5 from further back, and 20 goals inside the box. So there we have it then. A fantastic season for Valencia, two Good seasons, I think, for Derby and Sassuolo. Let me know down in the comments whether you think they were a success and whether this tactic was good. But please drop a like on the video if you can. That would be fantastic. And let me know down in the comments if you submitted your tactic on the FM Scout website. And I will definitely test that one next. But my name is Megaloop. The link to my channel is down in the description or at the end of the video. Please come across and say hi. And I will see you for the next one. Bye-bye.